sequence shows a simple model that attempts to capture the kinds of emergent collective behaviors observed in colonies of social insects, in which individuals alter their environments, which alters the behaviors of other individuals, which in turn causes them to alter their environments, and so forth. Under the right circumstances, such recursive behaviors can lead to the spontaneous self-organization of whole collections of organisms, mediated by the structures they impose on their environment. There are two kinds of virtual ants, or vants, in this experiment, red vants and blue vants. Red vants exit a black square to their left and leave it green, and exit a green square to their right and leave it black. Blue vants are similar, but exit black squares to the right and green squares to the left, toggling the state of the square as they leave. As the vants are constantly encountering their own paths, their behavior can be very complex and their travels quite convoluted. However, certain environmental structures cause the vants to fall into quite regular patterns of behavior, as shown here, where a red vant displaces a line of green squares by various distances. Two or more ants can get caught up together in collective patterns of activity, as is illustrated here. There are many possible collective patterns of activity involving two or more vants that can emerge in the context of these very simple rules for individual vants, responses to their environments. These can lead to a good deal of collective self-organization on the part of a large aggregate consisting of many vants. Let's look in detail at some of these collective structures. Here, Two red vants have fallen into a cyclic pattern of activity which constitutes a second order individual which moves in a straight line. This higher order structure, consisting of a red vant and a blue vant, become locked in a cycle which leaves a trail behind it. Here, a red and a blue vant walk across the ray together without leaving a trail. Here, the second order trail building structure illustrated above is overtaken by a single blue vant, which follows the trail via the line displacement and becomes engaged in a third order structural relationship with the original pair. Here, two packets consisting of two vants each get caught up in a higher order structure. Here is a four vant propagating structure. And this one consists of six vans. This pair of vans engage in a fairly complex cycle, forming a structure that extends diagonally across the array. Here are another couple of runs involving large collections of vans. The emergence of higher order structures capable of engaging in complex interactions with each other, leading to yet higher order structures, 
must play a fundamental role in the self-organization of many biological phenomena, especially in the dynamics of insect colonies. It was not suspected that such complex behaviors as these could have such simple behavioral roots. The study of these kinds of self-organizing emergent dynamical hierarchies should shed a good deal of light on many complex biological and physical systems.